Hello everyone, this is Am, the little Frenchie in Big Texas and today we just got the power back so this was like party time I got a hot shower <laughs> it was so so good but yeah it's a second day with um, pretty much no power during the day and no water uh, we were definitely ready for the water we got plenty at home but the power um, was a bit of another issue especially when it's that cold outside Monday went down to um, minus 11 celsius which is not much in Fahrenheit it's like 10 I think 11 so pretty cold for here like an unusual temperature I would say today was a tiny bit better it only got down to 32 31 so just below freezing much better and here is my heater my stove <laughs> that's all I had pretty much and we got a gas chimney as well upstairs but that's what we had but what I want to share with you is how I cared for our chickens because the way we do we have we start our chickens here uh, mostly in the garage um, we've got heat lamps uh, we got incubators so they're all good um, and once they have feathers and grow they go to the farm in the country but until then they are here and without feathers they cannot stay warm so I'm gonna show you how I kept them warm so Monday we were out for 12 hours and today we were out for eight hours pretty much no power no water I will show you uh, what I did they're all good they made it so and I hope it was the last power failure <laughs> let's just hope but at least we're getting almost in a routine now on how to handle that and I still have fuel in my magic truck that really saved the day so <laughs> the babies I have here we have a food incubator about 40 eggs about to uh, hatch uh, early next week we have 17 young um, buff Optington they are less than a month old uh, I ordered some pullets from Ideal Poultry, so 16 of them, and we have two that are ours that we hatched. I think a rooster. It's a pretty tough and big... Uh, <laughs> he's the biggest and the toughest out of everybody, so I'm guessing a rooster on that one. And we also have our newly born that hatched uh, last week. We have nine of them, so three Bentham's and six uh, little Buff Huntington, uh, very young. So that's uh, our birds here at the house. And beside these birds, we also have some koi fish that are, that were actually not anymore, that were underneath the ice pretty much. So I had to break the ice on this, uh, but they're doing okay. So they, they made it, I think. <laughs> so all good, all good for everyone actually. 32 out here. It's not even as cold as it was. I'm keep trying to keep the car warm. I'm in the car. We got some icy rain outside, still not uh, the best and it looks like a very uh, rainy sky for the day. So we're going to probably keep that rain, that cold weather. And again, we are out of power and out of water. So I'm trying to save my babies here using uh, my wonderful truck that I love so much and so much more reliable than the Aircot Greed to save all my babies here. So these are my two incubators. Here I have the newborn chicks um, that were born, yeah, just a week old. Uh, they're making a mess, but at least they're staying warm. Um, I have a mix of Bentham and Buff Optington in there. And here are all my eggs. They're about to hatch in a few days. I don't want to lose them. Uh, the car is running both. So we are good. They are staying warm. They haven't had time to uh, cool off too much in the house. Uh, I noticed the power failure right away. I also have some water here that I'm waiting uh, for it to heat up a bit because it is cold. And I'm going to try to keep them uh, moist and hydrated and bring some food in the car for these little ones. As you can see, it's pretty moist already here. They made a mess. They had water. They just peeled it. Uh, it's a mess in that incubator. But they're warm and surviving. And here um, we are low on water. I need to probably add some 
and next i'm gonna take care of my pullets in the garage one month old they need to cuddle together in a box uh they're gonna be cold in there so heading to the garage and gonna put the pullets in the house uh, and try to keep them warm and hopefully it is going to clear up gosh the car feels warm that car has a magical thing, which is a heated wheel, steering wheel, and that feels so good on my hands. Yeah, even the tires. Yes, I know you're low. Everything is low and not working. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's 32. It's not that cold, actually. We've been much, much colder. This is not that cold today. I... Let's take care of the rest of the house now that you guys are all warm and set in the car and here is my shui box with my uh, i have 15 pullets i ordered from ideal poultry uh that was a month ago so they're starting to have a bit of feathers but i didn't want to risk it uh, given it's still freezing temperature in the in the garage i put them in the box and we have two that are ours uh, from the incubator about the same age maybe a few days older but that's it so just give them some food and water they were all sleeping warm in there it's gonna be i guess a sleeping day for them they want to eat the box look at that one it's trying desperately to eat the box did not understand the food was behind her Come on, you got food. I'll leave it there for 15 minutes. You better eat then and I'm going to close the box. I have a cat in the house and I locked up the cat. But yeah, I saw him. He was trying to get inside. Mm, this little predator feels like there's something good and interesting in the box. So I need to keep them safe, warm, fed. <laughs> Hi, please power come back on. <laughs> no, don't even try to escape. You're in there for your safety. You're my rooster. I'm sure one of our own egg is a rooster. He's just twice as big as the others. <laughs> and really not the same attitude. The chicks are, the pullets are really sweet. But that one here, man, he's tough. He's tough. Don't try getting out. I'm going to have to release the cat at some point. You don't want to mess up with the cat. Yeah, you don't want to experience the cat. Believe me. I'm going to put something on top. You've got a vent, so you're not going to asphyxiate in there. But I'm going to have to... Yeah, even you, the rooster, you won't be able to fight the cat. I'm telling you. No, no, no. Don't try getting out. No. So no water in the house, but we have a small leak here. I mean, that's pretty much all the water we would have got anyway out of the house if it ever got enough pressure to reach the sink. So I'm getting my water to clean my dishes uh, here outside under 32 Fahrenheit. Isn't it lovely? Well, at least the positive here is that this is not frozen and bursty. It is running. As soon as we get electricity, I just need to get a valve and get it fixed. But getting water for my dishes. Gosh, I can't believe it. I'm having to break the ice from the fish pond. I just broke it here. So you can see now it's floating. It's doing better. But wow, look at that. It's actually pretty thick uh, towards the end over there. I'm waiting for the sun to slowly shift over the pond. And I will try to break some more in the afternoon. But we're staying below freezing for a few days, so it's going to form back. They look like they're doing okay. They're moving deep under the water, but oof. yeah, it is tough. Look at that. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, I already started breaking it, so... Okay, 